so nicely with this. Maybe not the acorn cap. Let's see. <gasps> Hello. Oh my goodness. You must be the new fairy everybody's been talking about. I know that because I do not recognize you. <laughs> what is your name? <gasps> that is beautiful. It is so lovely to meet you. My name is Marigold and I am a fashion talent fairy. Anything from fashion, clothes, design, snipping, tailoring, hemming, that is right up my alley and what I am best at. So what brings you in? starter wardrobe. Yes, my goodness, yes. I am so honored that you chose me out of all the fashion fairies. I am so very excited. Okay, we'll sit down. Sit, sit, sit. Let me make you a cup of tea so you can rest your wings. You know, think about what uh, you want your new clothes to be. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see how do you feel about a calming elderberry tea? Perfect. Sounds good. I'm just gonna scooch by you right here. My fire fairy actually just dropped me off a new glass tea kettle that she made for me. Isn't it cute? Celestial, you know, moon tide. It's kind of 
beautiful Rosetta. She is definitely quite the fan of mine. She has almost all of my meadow collection. We also have our woodland wares, so cute with the leaves and the acorn caps. Our durability collection is a animal talent very favorite because they definitely need, need durable clothes dealing with all those baby animals. I also have a formal mystical meadow collection with Rosetta modeling that as well. She has three or four of those gowns. And then we have Rainy. She is modeling our Riverside threads and look how gorgeous she is in that sheer frock. Lovely. So just to give you a little idea, something, a taste of what you can have. Most fairies have a signature look, but they all have quite an extensive wardrobe. So next up, we're going to be picking a theme, just a general theme that tells me what you like, where I should stay in the pounds app, okay? Because every fairy is different. You could be a water fairy or you could be a meadow fairy, but you are obsessed with potions or celestial things. You could be a petal fairy, but just absolutely taken aback by bugs. All right, so let me get my little theme book, the special one. Here it is. So picture this like a little scrapbook, a vision board. You just tell me what you like, all right, my dear? Perfect. So the first little vision board we have is a mushroom meadow. Lots of traditional toadstools, you know, the typical fairy toadstools. We'll have lots of browns and burgundies. This is definitely more for a traditional fairy. Okay. Next up is a forest floor theme. Lots of ferns, lots of moss, lots of lichen. We have long maiden hair ferns, sword ferns, some other ferns in here, a couple non-ferns, but it's very green, it's very lush. Think of a very wet rainforest. <laughs> but 
like this one, this one, these ones. Okay. Okay, those are the buttons you like. Any other that pique your interest? You're welcome to feel them. They've got nice feelings to them, this one. Okay. Perfect. So moving on, let's talk function. Cosmetic function and then function function. Okay, so here's some options you can choose for your wardrobe and you can tell me there's certain pieces you want or all of them or just a few or I can pick them out for you. So for functionality, we have, we can make them water resistant, I can make them wind resistant, I can make them very heat resistant if your fairy works in the sun all the time. Uh, you can make them aerodynamic if you want to fly really fast. The fast flying fairies love that. I can insulate your clothes for you if you go into the icy biome a lot. Or I can make them wicking if you're a little sweaty. And I can make them quite durable. As I said before, the um, animal talent fairies love my durable collection. We just make it a little bit more thicker. Use kind of a harder twine. Now keep in mind that it makes them a little bit more not as comfortable, but you know, it's great for your talent if that's what you need, okay? So, I can also make your clothes holographic. The light fairies love that. Reflective, shimmery, glittery, feathered, if you love a feather. We do not pluck any birds. It's from the animal talent fairies. They bring us any feathers that are shed, of course. No animal would ever be harmed. We're fairy stone monsters. Okay, we can make it mossy if you're a tree fairy. Or we can make it sheer if you're a risque fairy. Okay. So, any of these pique your interest. It would create to be water resistant. Right. And you would love it if it was just a tad, um, okay. Aerodynamic. You want it a little shimmery, not too, not sparkly, but shimmery. Yeah. Can't read your mind. And you would like some sheerness, okay, but not like like a shimmery sheer, but not fully sheer. Like you want the areas to be covered, but you want some sheer aspects. Yep, got it. Any jewels you interested in? A little gold, silver? Okay. So let's talk about extras. We have the basics, short sleeves, long sleeve shirts, pants, all those lovely functionality uh, things, but I do have some extras that we can get right off the rack if you're interested. If you want an extra raincoat, I uh, dabble in mushroom caps as well. A bunny beanie is so cute. Rose thorn heels. If you are a stiletto fairy, button boots. Very popular with our mud fairies. A cape very popular with our theater fairies. Silk socks, great. Just absolutely wonderful if you only fly and you never ever walk around, you can have silk socks. Uh, I also have extra wing covers that you can take today. That'll be great. It's looking a little misty out, so just to cover up your wings. Um, by needle heels, if the rose thorns are a little, a little too thorny, we want to do a by needle heel and a seaweed scarf. Those are magnificent uh, for your skin. Lots of SPF as well. So, are you interested in any of these? The bunny beanie. Okay. I'll send you one with a little package. Bunny beanie. Mushroom cap. Oh, a cape. Love that. The cape does have pockets. Hood. Um, anything else? Okay. So now I'm going to take your measurements because, of course, I need to be certain about everything. I can eye you up pretty well, but it's nice to have some uh, leaf measurements. So we're going. 
going to do your arms, hands, what does that say? Shoulders, wings, legs, waist, wingspan, wing blades, neck, and chest. So I need you to take a deep breath in. And out. Okay. Where's my... about record time. I haven't done it that fast in a very long time. I'm very excited to get 